Hello, welcome for another practice. Today, one and a half hours of Hatha and Vinyasa flow. So through the course, we've been learning about how yoga means to stabilize or sustain our state of consciousness, to reduce and eventually kind of uh, stop or to stop from causing the fluctuations, the changes of our mental state. And the various ways that we learn to do that are through discipline, through love and devotion, through right action, and through knowledge and understanding. And through this Hatha Yoga practice, we're going very directly to the energy aspect of this by controlling the nerve energy, the nerve signals of our body and the command center of the brain, right? Um, as you may know that the right side of the brain connects to the left side of the body actions and vice versa, the left side of the brain to the right side of the body actions. You may also have experienced in yourself You may have also experienced in yourself that the two sides of our body and also the way we use our body are not symmetrically exactly alike, i.e. usually we're right-handed or some people are left-handed. The organs of the body are situated differently. And even the nostrils, oftentimes we breathe more through one side than another side or the size is different. So all of these things have a kind of balance to them, which is not symmetrical, but we can go deeper than the physicality to the energy itself <clears throat> and build up a, a balanced energetic field, let's say, of the body. And by doing asana, working deeply into one side of the body, I start to develop the area of the brain around those nerves and neurons which control that muscle action or those groups of muscle actions. So there's a complex patterns that we move through, not only of the body when we do asana, but of the neural activity of our brain. And as we move through a practice, we can think of it as like a electrical dance <clears throat> throughout the brain and the nervous system. This dance is also kind of like shining a light in our awareness of energy, the brain, the body, and so on. And this is because think of the times that you've done some exercises or some asana before, and maybe you or you heard somebody say something like this, I never even knew I had those muscles, right? It leads us to experiencing something that we were not aware or less aware of within ourselves. And as we keep practicing, the energy comes back to that area again, and we start to have more awareness of that process, not only how to do the asana, but the process of where in the field of awareness is my concentration. And if my concentration could be even in all dimensions of my energy, what would that experience be like? So of course, to be able to experience that, it helps to do the practices that we do, to target specifically all the little detailed areas of our energy aspect. We could ask the question from here, well, how many asana do we need to do this that it's enough to do it the answer is actually not that many of course the more asana and the more patterns that we practice the more immersive this awareness will become in the details but to get the result which we really want which is the evenness of our awareness we'll only need the few basic asana 
from there, you can practice into more details, not as a matter of the energy body, but as a matter of the concentration itself, right? So then we have the reason for doing less asana, but more things like maybe mudra or pranayam or mantra chanting. And these can hold the attention in a much more subtle, fine way, which is less prone to the distractions on the outside. And that's a very important part of practice too. If I'm sitting still, holding a mudra and chanting the sounds of some mantra in my mind, I'm not going to notice what's happening outside of the window there. And then my mind will go to that and then maybe to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. We all know how the mind works. One thing comes up and it's like there's many doors that come from this one thing. And usually we open another door and we go and then another thing and we open and we go and so on. So this is the changes of the mind, which we're trying to reduce and stabilize to stay in one form or one concentration. And so this is the value of internalizing our practice to those more <clears throat> subtle techniques or those more uh, smaller refined techniques. So let's have a good practice. We'll move through as many of these aspects as we can in a slow and mindful way. The other part to remember about all of this is that no matter what the technique is, whether it's doing a physical pose with our eyes open, or whether it's just one pointed single focus within ourself, the awareness of I, or the awareness of awareness itself. Whatever the technique is, the most determining factor of whether or not you're really grounded in that concentration or really focused in it is you. It's your will or your intention to focus in that way that you can to the maximum that you can with the mindfulness of the condition of the body, the mind, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So always be in that power of yourself. You have this power to concentrate and you have the power to strengthen this concentration or to grow this concentration no matter how challenging it can seem sometimes you want to focus this way and then something knocks you. okay it's okay come back and this can be yoga practice or this can be life we all know this let's call it a battle right i want to focus in this way and something knocks me i come back it's much better for us to come back to our focus than to just give up right and always accepting the grace as well as we journey maybe sometimes shifting our focus because the wing that knocked us is showing us a deeper level that we can work with always open to the potentials and the possibilities let's close our eyes We begin to deepen our breath. Focusing in the breath, how it moves and how it feels. And breathe deeply that your whole body receives the breath. Your whole body gives the breath. Every inhale, to every cell. And exhale from every cell. Breathe through your spine to every cell. And breathe out from every cell through your spine. Find the rhythm and keep breathing.
two deep breaths in and out. Then pause your breath out for a few seconds before we continue. And even when the breath is paused, concentrate in the awareness of the breath, how the breath happens. Pause everything, pause the cells, pause the mind. And inhale, relax the belly. And we'll start Kapalabhati, pumping our exhalation from the lower abdomen. Inhale, complete inhale. Hold your breath in. Release and exhale. Long exhale, keep breathing out, keep squeezing the abdomen, waistline, relax the belly, inhale, and starting again when you're ready. Deep inhale, hold in. And release, long exhale, all the way to the bottom. Last round.
and deep inhale, hold the breath in. Exhale. Now keeping the breath deep, breathing with ujjayi, sound in your throat like a smooth whisper. Connecting with your deepest self your deepest intentions, your purest energy. Imagine everything is one pure energy, your body, space, the earth, everything in the universe, one energy, all the people, all the animals, all the life, all the plants, chanting Om three times. Exhaling, release, open the eyes, moving with this energy, coming to hands and knees. Now let's point the toes, sit onto the heels. Inhale, take the arms up. Turn your palms out. Cross your right hand over your left, interlace your fingers and exhale, curl your body down, elbows <clears throat> in, forehead down. Inhale up again, take the arms out, stand to the knees. Nice and slow, exhaling down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. Three more. And now lifting and changing the cross of your arms, release your fingers, slide your palms. So we move through prayer position and then opposites and then reaching the arm forward again. Left wrist on top, inhaling and exhaling down. Inhale. Up. 
exhaling down. Six more times. Three more. Last one up. Release your hands out to the sides. Tuck your toes. And exhale, sit back to your heels, bring your arms forward. Make gentle fists and rotate your wrists. Other direction, rotate your wrists. Slow, deep breath. Open the fingers wide, spread open the hands, fist down and up and spread the fingers. Next, exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Inhale to downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift the knees, hang the head down. Exhale, push through the body, lengthen the mat. Keep breathing. And balance the weight, the two sides, left and right. Feel your hands, 50-50 weight. Feel your feet, 50-50. Relax the neck, let the head hang. Next exhalation, bend the knees halfway. Inhale, walking forward, coming to flat back. And exhale, forward bend. Let's repeat here a few times. Flat back. And exhale, forward bend. Inhale, pull the belly in as you reach your spine. Exhale, lean forward, fold and curl in. Three more. And next inhale, lifting all the way up. Raise your arms, reach up and look back. Exhale, hands to your forehead, just to the forehead level. And inhale up again. Exhale, forehead. 
And each time we go up, imagine you're diving up and looking back to your hands. Three more. Inhale, diving up and back. And exhale, hands to your forehead center, chin slightly down. Inhale. And exhale. Hands to heart, looking straight ahead, setting a drishti, one point of focus, have one spot where your eyes are resting, focus, and still see everything throughout your vision, <clears throat> out to the sides, your peripheral vision. And exhaling, relax the hands, turn the palms open. Starting Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga, walking back. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. Let's take one breath. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, walking. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. One breath. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, walking the flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, mountain. One more round of sun A. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Upward facing, downward facing. One breath. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, mountain. Hold here. Three rounds of sun B. Exhale, release the hands. Drishti. Same point as before, looking at that same spot. 
Finish your exhale. Next inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Turn your left foot to right foot step. Inhale, lift to warrior one. Exhale, down to Chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Right foot turn and left foot step. Warrior one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. And exhale, back to down dog. Now holding down dog for three to five breaths. Slow the breathing down and hold. Next exhale, continue, bend the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, arms up. Exhale, mountain pose. Two more rounds, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing to warrior one. Left foot turn, right foot step. Inhale, lift. Exhale down, Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back. Right foot turn, left foot step, warrior one. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale back, holding down dog. Next exhale, continue. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, bend the knees, arms up. Exhale, mountain, Tadasana. One more round, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Left foot turn, right foot step. 
in, hell up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Second side, warrior one, turn and step. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale back. Hold and breathe. Next, exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, walk or hop, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. And exhale, mountain. Coming back to your drishti, looking at that same spot, same point. Keeping your drishti forward, come to warrior two with the big step back of your left side. Long, deep breath. Breathing and watching, controlling the body response, staying relaxed, controlling your efforts. From here, exhale, turn your left hip and come into high lunge. You can adjust your feet. And exhale to revolve side angle with prayer at the heart. Twist to the right, look up to the right, lightly cross your elbow over your knee or thigh. With your next inhale, high lunge. And exhale to mountain pose. Lean forward, hands to your heart with control, step. And drishti again, same point. When you're ready, inhale. Right leg and arm back to warrior two. Adjusting to high lunge.
and exhale into revolve side angle with prayer at the heart. Look up to the left. Inhale to high lunge. Exhale, hands to heart, lean forward to mountain. Drishti straight ahead. Close the eyes. Breathe through the spine, through every cell. Inhale, open the eyes. Exhale, relax the hands. Inhale, high lunge, left leg back. This time going further with our gaze, looking up and back. Try to look back to your hand. With the exhale, hands to the heart, lean forward. And exhale, step to balance with your left leg up. And we'll do that again. And if you have the flexibility, we're going to step to grab our big toe with the leg extending. So coming back again to high lunge. And this time, right hand to your hip. Exhale, step forward and swing your left leg up. See if you can grab the big toe. If the knee is bent, you can use a strap around your foot to get your legs straight. Or if your knee is really bent and your back is kind of rounding, hold your shin instead and stand straight and tall. If you're holding your toe, try to pull your left shoulder into your body backwards. Pull your leg and your arm in. Push through your standing leg and find that drishti again, that same point, our mountain pose drishti. Now let's inhale, take the leg and the arms to the side, open your body to the sides. And exhale, look to your right hand. And from here, exhale back to the middle, bend the knee. Place your ankle onto your thigh, just above your knee. And we can stay in a couple variations with the knee bent. You can stay high with the hands in prayer, more like your normal chair pose. Or you can come down low and take the chest towards the calf muscle, arms out to the sides. Curl all the three fingers in and point through the index finger. Exhale. 
Exhale, standing back up. Inhale, your arms up. And exhale, mountain. Find your same drishti again. As we're ready, inhaling right leg to high lunge. Take your time and keep looking up and further back. And exhale, hands to heart, stepping forward, left hand to your hip, right leg up, grab your knee or your toe. If you're holding your toe, try to pull your right arm and right leg back into the body. Push through your standing leg. Same drishti point. Now open to the sides. And exhale, look over your left hand. Exhale, coming back, hand to hip, ankle above the knee, bending your knee, staying in either a high chair with the hand in prayer, or taking your time, exhaling lower, chest to your calf. back up. Inhale the arms up. And exhale mountain to both feet down, hands in prayer, eyes to your drishti. Close the eyes. Exhale, opening the eyes, hands, left hand to your hip, right arm up. 
Eagle pose with our arms. Exhale, cross your right arm over your left. Bend into your knees. Cross your left leg over your right. Exhale, sit lower. Arms up, squeezing the legs and arms. Keep the arm position of the eagle pose and come into warrior three. So we take our left leg back, straighten the standing leg and lean forward as far as you feel controlled. At the most, the body is parallel to the floor. Release your hands and come into half moon. Drop your right hand to the floor left arm and left leg up, looking up to the left. And reversed half moon, left hand down, right arm up. Looking up to the right. Both hands down, both feet down, bend your knees. Inhale to chair. And exhale to mountain and back to your drishti. Right hand to the hip. Inhale, left arm up. Left arm over right. Bend the knees. Exhale, right leg over left. Vyarudasana, breathing, holding. Three, exhale, right leg straight back. Half moon, left hand down, right arm and right leg up, looking up to the right. Revolved half moon, right hand down, left arm up, twisting and looking up to the left. And exhale, both hands down, both feet together, bend the knees. Inhale to chair. And exhale to mountain. Eyes to your drishti.
exhaling, close the eyes. Open in, exhale, open the eyes and inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward bend. One flat back. And now exhale, shuffle your feet apart, your feet as wide as the mat. Bend your knees slightly and exhale. Roll your spine through your legs as much as you can. And wave through your spine. Now, if the hands can go behind the feet, coming to Bhuja Pidasana, arm pressure pose. So we're gonna squeeze our legs onto our arms and slowly sit. And if you feel good to so take your feet up, cross your ankles. Otherwise, just take as much weight as you can on the hands. Use all your finger strengths to hold your weight. Change the cross of your ankles, the other ankle on top. And feet back down, push forward and fold again. This time, take your arms over your back either on your hips or mushti mudra, squeezing your thumb inside of your fingers or interlace your fingers. And if you can interlace your fingers, try to turn your palms out. Open palms with fingers interlaced. Exhale your hands back down to the ground. And now pressing into your hands, walk your feet back to plank. Pulling everything into the front side of the body. And exhaling down onto the abdomen. Lengthen the abdomen by pulling with your fingers turned in. And now hands under your shoulders, rolling up and down through cobra. Hug the shoulders back and inhale, lift as you drop your chin. Lift your chin at the end. Exhale, belly down, chest down. Let's do three more.
And you can take a little rest if you need. And then we're going to hold Cobra Pose and really stretch through your chin, your neck, your chest. When you're ready, inhale up. Spread the fingers wide. And reach through your whole spine. If your eyes are closed, open your eyes, look back through your forehead, third eye. If it has the comfort and the flexibility, straighten the arms, maybe come onto the fingertips. You can also come down and up again and change your hand position to find what feels best. Everybody is different. Take the tongue out. A few times, gently stretch the tongue. Still looking at the third eye. And exhale, roll down. And come into full prostration. Bring your feet together, your arms forward, and forehead down. And lifting the forehead, take the right arm out for chest opening shoulder stretch. Right hand as high as your head and roll over the right shoulder. Step your left foot behind your right leg and take the left arm up, palm back. Exhale, hand down towards the right hand. You can keep your head lifted, looking up to the left, or rest your head on a cushion or a block. Change sides. Adjust in the middle to make length again. The straightness of the spine. And left hand out, right leg stepping over. Right arm up, palm back and reaching down.
slowly release, rolling back down. Just in the center, make length, straightness. And now wheel, or sorry, not the wheel, but bow, grabbing your ankles. Exhale, legs up, feet close. Eyes on one point. Slowly release and rest your head onto your hands with your chin. Opening the eyes, hands under the shoulders, tuck your toes and push back through a low position, the child's pose. Breathe through every cell, breathe through the spine. And sitting up, moving through Lolasana with your hands at or slightly behind your knees, press to cross leg sitting. Take your right leg straight, left foot inside of your thigh, like tree pose. Inhale, lift and exhale, fold to your right leg. If it's possible, hold your wrist past your foot. Inhale, back up. Raise your arms, change your legs, inhale, reaching up, and exhale, fold to your left leg. And inhale, coming up. Exhale to lotus or just cross legs. And hands down. Now we'll do Kapalabhati with Tolasana. So if you're in cross legs, your feet are just crossed at the ankles. You can stay with your feet down. If you can do lotus. And good way to know that lotus is good is you can do without your hands quite easily without strain on your knees or just mindfully use the hands is fine too then lifting 
and pumping your Kapala Bhati while you hold yourself up. Remember, you can also do the feet touching the ground, cross legs is fine. Sits. Change the cross of your legs. Exhale, half exhale to lift and then Kapalabhati. Sitting straight and tall, close your eyes. Make the breath very slow and soft. If you feel comfortable to pause, pause your breath. Hold your breath in and out as long as you want. Every exhale, relax the body again, balance the spine. Push down to your sit bones, sit super tall now. Be very active. Feel those two points, your pelvis sitting on the floor, pushing down through the floor to sit tall through the crown of your head. Make this a very active meditative pose for a few breaths. Focus at your forehead center, third eye. One more breath, staying as tall as you can, but when you exhale, relax everything. Stay as tall as you can, but relax. Find the balance. 50% still actively sitting tall, 50% relaxing, becoming passive and letting go. Completely relax your legs. Completely relax your arms and shoulders. Connect the index and thumb of both hands resting on your knees. And focus towards the forehead center. Drishti inside. Connecting to the breath, connecting to the balance of left and right. Breath becoming soft and soft, quieter, mind quiet.
can choose now to stay in meditation or lay down in Shavasana with your head to the front, feet to the back and relax the body.
slowly taking your time and deepen your breath and stretch or move. You may like to roll to the side for a moment, resting on the side body. And in a few breaths, sitting back to a cross legs. Sitting up. Chanting Om three times. Sending our gratitude to the source. Namaste. So as always, thank you for joining. Hope you feel wonderful. And may this awareness of self continue to be uncovered by all of the things that's going on. May we remember that deeper truth and that peacefulness that comes. See you in the next class.